What's good, YouTubers and YouTube X? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Seven time Grand Slam winner Venus Williams loses to fellow American Daniel Collins, 7 5, 7 6, in a crazy match. Crazy match, crazy match. The first set uh, looked like Venus had control. She was hitting a a lot of winners had a lot of unforced errors, but she was hit more winners than Danielle Collins. She was up 5-3 in the first set. It looked like she was uh, going to be on her way to a first set uh, victory. But Danielle Collins ended up rallying and ended up winning the last four games and winning that set 7-5 and won the first five games of the second set was up 5-0. So she had won nine games in a row on Venus. And Venus rallied back to tie it at 5-5. It looked like she was... Uh, she was out of there, and she was able to come back and tie it up again, five to five. And then they went to a second set tiebreaker at six six all, and uh, Venus was looking good. She was up two zero in the tiebreaker, and up three two in the tiebreaker. But then she fell apart, man. A lot of unforced errors doomed her again, and she ended up being down five through in the tiebreaker. She was able to rally back and uh, come back. 6-5 down in, in a tiebreaker, but Daniel Collins hit an ace to, to win the uh, second set and, and win the uh, first-round matchup, 7-5, uh, 7-6. Seven, seven, Venus just had way too many unforced errors, way too many. Daniel Collins had a lot of unforced errors too, man. She did a lot of complaining to the referees when Venus was coming back. When she was up 5-0, she was looking like she had it in the bag, but I think she was waiting on Venus to uh, give it to her. But she, if she looked at her, all she had to do was look back at a uh, follow, uh, follow of uh, Venus Williams' career. She doesn't give in at all. She feels that she's always in the match, even if she's down 5-0. She, she's not going to feel that she can't get back into the match, and she showed that in the second set. Danielle Collins had to kind of finally, uh, at 5 all, she started going for more winners and being a little bit more aggressive, and she figured out that Venus was not going to hand it to her. She was going to have to actually win it. And she uh, came through in the uh, tiebreaker. But I think it was more of uh, Venus Williams' play went down. She could have continued to play like she played when she was down 5-0 and won five games in a row. I think she could have got back in this uh, thing and forced a third set. But couldn't do it. Uh, Venus is in a tough situation right now to me. She's a, you know, 30, I ain't going to say she's a tough situation. She's in a difficult situation. Put it like that. She's 39 years old. Uh I, I, I kind of, you know, when she lost in the U.S. Open to uh, Spillalina, I think it was in the second round, I think she lost that match. I thought, you know, she didn't play enough matches to get ready for Spillalina. Spillalina is a woman that plays a lot of tournaments, and she was just tournament ready. And I thought she lost that match duly to the fact that she was had not played a lot of tournaments. But I think she might, you know, I think it's a, like a catch-22. If she decides to play more tournaments, you know, when you're 39 years old, you're not gonna you're gonna have your bad days. Some days you're just not gonna have it. Being an older older player, you're just not gonna have the uh, have the the uh, the fluidity of uh, let me use it for a better word. Have the sharpness that you have when you're younger, and I think that came into play in this tournament. I think that's probably hurt Venus. Venus. That's that's finally uh, that's hurt uh, that's hurt Venus in other situations. She's, um, she, you know, probably, probably a team is probably saying we could play more tournaments, but if you play more tournaments, you know, you're subject to more bad days to me due to her age. Like I say, some days she's just not going to be sharp. And this tournament, this game here was, you know, like I say, she just got through playing the U.S. Open, what, two weeks ago? So she was pretty much sharp, at least from playing, not being a long drop in between tournaments. And she came out in this match very, very sharp, but – when she hit that five three lead and Daniel Daniel Collins came back on it, she shot and she to me she was showing her age. She showed her age and she just was she, she was she was she was pretty much non existent for like nine games in a row. She didn't put up a lot of a lot of fight. She was not sharp. A lot of unforced errors and she gave a lot of points, easy points away to Daniel, Daniel Collins. Didn't even make her work hard to win a lot of those points. And she went on a nine game winning streak on her and went from five three <laughs> deficits to uh uh, seven five first set victory and a five zero second set uh, lead and ultimately that was too uh, big of a hole for Venus Williams to dig herself out of as she was able to tie it up but you you know it's like you you know climbing uphill fighting up against the uh, fighting you in that water fighting against that current 
You know, you're trying to fight upstream, trying to swim upstream. It's very, very, very difficult. And that's that proved to be uh, Venus Williams' ultimate de demise in this tournament, man. She's going to, I think she's going to have to find a happy medium where she's got to play enough tournaments to stay sharp where when she gets to the majors, she can compete at the majors and try to get to the second week of a lot of majors. I don't, I don't know if she's ever going to be able to win another major, but a lot of these majors here recently, she's been getting eliminated uh, early. She got eliminated early at Wimbledon, which is her favorite service, surface. And on her second favorite service, U.S. Open Hardcourt, she got eliminated in the second round. So to maybe eliminate that, maybe she, leading up to tournaments, leading up to the majors, she needs to probably play in a few more tournaments to get a little bit more sharper. And then when she gets in the majors, she can maybe uh, go on a run and, uh, you know, at least get to a couple of finals. Because it wasn't that long ago she was in the finals, what, two years ago, two, three years ago when she lost to her sister Serena in the Australian Open. That was her last final appearance in a major. I think she can, can get back to that form, but she's just got to play a little bit, little bit more uh, tournaments leading up to the majors, I think. You know, this, these tournaments here are more end of the year. So I don't, you know, she's playing in those, you know, uh, those tournaments, you know, fulfilling her obligations or whatever. You know, she's played in those tournaments in the past, and she, I, I know she likes to go over there and play in those Asia tournaments. And I think Wuhan tournament, the tournament she played in today, that's probably one of her favorite tournaments to play in. So, you know, she can finish the year out strong, but she need to make sure that when the Australian Open starts in January that she's tournament ready. Play in a lot of these end-of-the-year tournaments. If they have some, I got to look at the schedule, but if they got any tournaments in December, she need to try to play in some to get ready. She can't take off. She can't play in the Wuhan tournament, for example, lose in the first round, and then don't play in no more tournaments and then show up in the Australia Open thinking she's going to make any kind of run. It's not going to work like that. I think she needs to uh, play in some uh, end-of-the-year tournaments. You know, pretty much all these rest of these tournaments of the year are gonna be in Asia. I think they cut off in around November or maybe maybe November. If they cut off in November, playing the, the last one in November. If they got some in December, playing that tournament in December and try to get uh tournament ready for the uh, Australia Open. If they don't have any uh tournaments lined up in the, in December on the WTA tour, try to play in some exhibition matches. I know they got exhibition matches uh, coming up. Playing some of those. Just try to stay sharp. And, and tournament tough and uh, get ready uh, to play in the Australian Open. But as far as the the tournament goes today, man, she came up short, very inconsistent. Another thing that popped up for uh, Venus that caused problems today was her first serve. Had a hard time getting the first serve over, and that's what cost in the tiebreaker. It was just very inconsistent. Too many times she was into a second serve, and uh, Daniel uh, Collins was able to uh, get inside the baseline and take the uh, second serve, and she hit a, just enough winners to uh, pull out that uh, second set tiebreaker. So that's just what happened, man. We'll see what happens, man. Uh, going forward, I think, again, Venus needs to play in a little bit more tournaments leading up into the majors, need to get a little more consistent with her first serve, and uh, a backhand is very good, and the forehand is solid. It's just, I think she just needs to play more tournaments, more tournaments. I think that's key. More tournaments and uh, work on her first serve uh, percentage because it was like 64% tonight. And uh, I think it's got to be, you know, somewhere around 75% or higher for her to uh, compete with the, uh, the top women on the tour. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, uh, again, uh, subscribe to uh, – to, uh, follow me on Instagram, JB Sports 713. Follow me on Twitter, JB Sports the Man. JB Sports the Man, the Myth, the Legend. And I holla.